this is hot. Are you sitting in the vroom vroom? What does the car say? What's the car say? Daddy Rumble. Room room. I, the family car guy, want to welcome you guys back to my channel. Been gone for several months, almost like six months. I think I hasn't. I think I don't, I don't think I put out a video since like November. But anyway, I want to welcome you guys back to the channel. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in once again. Uh, it has been a while, like I said. Just wanted to give an update on on where my channel is at, what our plans are going forward, and, and what we have planned for the immediate future. So basically. Uh, well, first, let me say that the winter in Minnesota this year was so long that I ended up having to do this. Which ended up in me not thinking that all the way through and then dealing with this. So anyway, that's what happens when you have Corvette fever and uh, you can't get your car out for like six months. But anyway, uh, better days are upon us now. Uh, there's been a lot of really good days for the most part. The snow is basically all melted. We narrowly dodged a snowstorm last weekend. I think it hit Iowa and Wisconsin, but it did not hit Minnesota, thank God. So it's been some good Corvette weather. Unfortunately for me, this morning, uh, this being Sunday morning, um, I tried to start my Corvette and it would not start. The C4 would not start. I don't know if that's an OptiSpark issue. I pray to God that it is not. Otherwise, we'll be adding that to the list of things that we need to deal with. That being said, wanted to talk through some plans that I have for the channel. So first of all, my channel has been kind of up and down. I've been a I've been a been really really busy over the last six months with like uh, just life stuff. When we're talking about you know, having a family and, and having young kids and, and going to work and I work in IT and it's a really, really demanding field. So just trying to figure out a good balance and trying to figure out uh, something that I could do that would be consistent and, and still serve the needs of my family and all those things while still providing content and still being a part of the community. So here we are back again. Uh, the plan is to upload every week at this point. Uh, every weekend, usually on Sundays, is going to be the plan going forward. And we do have a lot of great, great, great plans this year. Like, I really hope you guys tune in. If you are new to the channel, um, definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, please go back and look at some of the other videos that I've put out. I do have two Corvettes. I've got a 1996 uh, C4 LT4 black Corvette with the LT4 motor and the six-speed. 
Uh, and then I also have a 2006 silver uh, C6 Z06 Corvette as well. And so, and that car hasn't been featured as much on the channel for various reasons, but one of them is I need to address the valve guide issue. And it doesn't make me incredibly comfortable driving that car. Not that I've had any problems with it, but I don't want to necessarily run up the miles on it knowing that there are some things that need to be addressed, which will be addressed in the near future. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But we've got some great, great plans going forward for this community and for this channel. And I really hope you guys tune in. Uh, definitely hit the bell notification so that you are made aware of all the new and latest and greatest content coming up on the channel. And I definitely want to thank you guys for uh, revisiting my channel if you have kind of been uh, waiting on me to do videos or or kind of been just kind of forgot about me. Thank you for giving me a second chance. And let's go on this journey together and have a great summer. There's a lot of cool events happening this summer. My plan is to get the C4 out on the track for sure. Hopefully do a couple mods to it. One of them I will kind of allude to later in the video, but definitely looking forward to that. Uh, I see a lot of people in the community doing a lot of cool things. Obviously, we have to talk about over the coming weeks the introduction of the C8 mid-engine Corvette, which, I, which I've done like zero videos on, but there's a lot of cool uh, information about that that plenty of people have covered so far, but there's definitely more to be revealed. Obviously, we know that the on in July... I believe it's July 18th is the date that the mid-engine Corvette officially gets revealed. Um, and so we're all excited about that. And, and there's definitely plenty to talk about when we're talking about the implications of the values of C7 Corvettes with C7 production basically coming to a halt. Uh, the value of the C7 ZR1, which I think is an interesting conversational topic because I honestly thought that the C7 generation was going to continue in tandem with the C8 generation. And someone correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like that's probably not the case, which means the value of the C7 ZR1 is probably going to stay pretty high for a while since basically it would only have been made for one for one model year. So lots of cool stuff to talk about. Uh, definitely got big plans for both the Z06 and the C4 this year. And... Hopefully you guys will come and enjoy this journey with me and we'll go from there. So first I want to give a major, major shout out to my barber who got me this clock. Um, pretty cool. The C7 Stingray on the clock. So that's my first little Corvette garage decoration. Uh, but let's look at some mods that we have coming up for the C4. So I'm sure you guys can probably guess, but let's get to it. We've got Hyperco. A nice long box there from Eckler's. I don't know how well you guys can see these, but you can see some lowering bolts, some washers. And then, of course, down here, of course, I'm knocking the box over as I do it. And, of course, it says it's heavy and fragile and things like that. Another Eckler's box. But I'm sure you can guess uh, what's in this box. We've got some suspension components in there so you can imagine that the c4 is well on its way to being track ready so that's our plan there over here in this corner we got the z06 that i cannot i you guys i haven't even started this car yet this year i mean look at this thing i don't even i probably should wash it i mean there's i tried to wash it before i put it away last year but uh, there's still some water spots. But yeah, you can see this thing definitely. It's been sitting here under this cover. You know, so anyway, I got to get to washing that thing and making sure she's all ready to go because we definitely have big plans for her as well. You can see it's still sitting there on the battery tender. So we definitely have big plans this year. So definitely stay locked into the channel uh we definitely have plenty more for you guys and again i really want to thank you guys this is not a super long video but i really want to thank you guys for tuning in uh please like please share please subscribe definitely definitely want to hear from you guys what are your plans this summer what are you guys planning on doing are we going to the track are we doing car shows are we going to go on a road trip uh what are we doing are we joining a corvette club are you 
already part of a Corvette club, what do you guys got going on? I'd love to hear what you guys are doing this summer. Let's collaborate and, and share and grow together as a community. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Are you driving? Yeah? Look at you. Oh, yeah, you're driving, huh? Yeah, that's the horn. Isn't that cool? Yeah, those are the buttons, man. Hi, Dad. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, we got to teach you about uh, proper Corvette etiquette, all right? Bye. Yeah, you're leaving? You're leaving me? You going? You taking my car without asking? Bye. All right. Bye. We got to teach you about proper Corvette Bye. etiquette. First of all, you always ask Bye. before you leave. Please. Second of all, Please do you don't put your dirty shoes all over the seat, buddy. No. Now I got to clean the seat. All right, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you wave? All right.